Je? Ja. Vidiš zdaj sekunde, kje so vrtili? Mhm. Sekunde so tam gore na ekrani, ne vidiš? Ne. How can you see the seconds are running? I can't. You can't? No. And how does Captain Blush always knows how much time we were filming? I don't know. Uh, because he has the watch on the hand all the time. Still, still. Friends, salute and welcome to Patrinčić family RC channel. The channel where we will try to film and test as many different planes as possible. The channel where we don't edit nothing, what you see is what you get. And of course the channel where we will try to show you the best fun in the world and that is of course flying RC planes. If you're still wondering if you should buy something, pause the video, go back, we have over 1100 videos, 1100 videos of RC planes and I think that by now there would be some plane, it would be interesting to you, so click it, buy it and what the hell, they have fun. So this is it. Of course, uh, today we have, I didn't want to wake up Captain Blush, so we have behind the camera the Captain Alina. <laughs> you can say hi. Yes, to you. hello, yes. Good morning. Oh, good morning, okay. Yeah, of course, good morning. And we were wondering what kind of. Uh, Nickname should she have? Somebody said Lieutenant Alina, but no, she will be Captain Alina, and do you know why? Because you are the captain of my heart, and Aww. daughter is always the captain of the father's heart, and that's it. Eh? You will be called Captain Alina okay. for the rest of my life. Eh? Thank you. Ah, okay? Yes, okay. So this is it. Eh? Enough of introducing. Of course, if you see me in the workshop, that means that we will have something to unbox. And today we have something so special. I wanted to do this so badly and finally it is here. Of course, just a few words, I will be short. I will check the, the clock. It is 9.51 in the morning. Why do we have this plane here? Now this is, of course, I, I know that many of you know what this kind of plane is. This is the E-Flight Turbo Timber Evolution. Now this is the plane that you don't even need to have the good runway for. With these wheels and this suspension, I mean, come closer, eh? show this sick suspension. Look at this, look. Hey, this can handle any kind of the runway. It has the navigational lights, the flaps, the stool capability, the smart technology. If you are a Spectrum or an Open TX lover, you can get this baby in a bind and fly version and that's it. Eh? And I will tell you, I'm not just, look, even the tips of the wings, they do have here the plastic. Eh? Salute for this. <laughs> because it has this one, because usually all the planes that I have, that have a wings like this, they're bended even little down for even better flying characteristics. Usually if you don't have this after time, this is all bended and crooked and I don't know what. Eh? But little things like this makes the whole difference. Eh? And why am I showing you this plane? Because in fact, this plane is my everyday plane. You can go a little back, Alina, yes. so you can see me all in the, in the screen. Do you see me? Yes, little yes. More, 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 okay, more, okay. more. Go, 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 you will okay, feel. Okay, 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 okay. You will feel the scissors, say. <laughs> the cold scissors, say. My everyday plane since the day that I have tried it for the first time. Really, like I have said, it can handle any kind of terrain. It can handle all kind of weather. E even the windy days, it's such a fun to fly this. You can do all kind of stunts with this and you can even have here the slats to really, really fly slow and stall. You can do the stall stuff with this. Now, I was wondering, how can you beat this plane? Is there a possibility? Is there a plane for me? Because I love the foam electric planes that would maybe be even better than this masterpiece. And my friends, we have it here today. And right now I will go and grab it. Leave the camera on the plane. I will make the great come in the screen. 
And the timber legend continues. Now I think that this plane, the, the, the timber plane from the E flight is the plane with the most different variants on the market today. Eh? You have all kind of timber planes, small 3D flying, night flying, first timber, turbo timber, and I don't know what the OMX, OMX timbers, even the in OMX versions, you have them more than just one A. And to tell the truth, I, I couldn't even imagine that maybe someday the E flight and Horizon Hobby will release the beautiful and sexy twin timber. Now, can you imagine this? Now, we have tested also many double motor planes, and I can tell you right now that the double motor planes, even if they're electrical, they sound so good and so much better than the one, uh, the single prop planes. Of course, I will put this baby here in the back, like this. Be careful. I will put it here. It will stand here, like this. It will remind us of how this baby looks, and we will create a great comparison, that one and this one. And I really wonder, at the end, when I will test this plane good, what I will tell you, is that one better, or maybe even this one, eh? And I have such a good idea for this plane later. So this is it, eh? Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't know, what should I tell you? Hmm. Do you see something here? Yeah, you have seen here, easier to fly, high power, white flight envelope, of course, functional extras, all kind of stuff on this plane. I can also show you the back. You can read this, 1.6 meter wingspan. Now, I wonder if this can fly maybe also like that one on three cell or four cell, but of course, right now I can recommend you and I would say go and fly this on four cell because it will be much more better and you will really have that unlimited vertical, really. I mean, the power of this baby is so great. A few videos back, you have seen this when I was flying this then you can check it out and you will see what kind of stuff you can do with this one, even better. I mean, I'm not the 3D flyer since I have ruined my hand. I'm struggling to even fly the planes, but I love them so much that I still do my best to try to persuade you that you get into this amazing hobby. So this is it, Alina. Yes. Enough of babbling. Huh. I can see now that you have on both sides, you have the cardboard. So I wonder, hmm, I will think that maybe like this is the proper way to open it and take it out. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Wait, I will open it also on this side. I don't want to ruin the box because I have so many planes. I don't throw the boxes away anymore. I don't throw away nothing. I will even save the outer cardboard for this one because I can't have all the planes assembled. So after two, three flights, Except of that one, I disassemble the planes and put them back in the boxes and store them for the future, for the next buildings. Because I don't sell nothing, my friends. <laughs> the planes are just gathering and gathering all the time. And look at this, such a great solution if I don't want to crush the box. Look at this. And now oh. we can see the plane coming out and that's it. Yeah. I still don't know on which side it is turned, but you can already see, you can... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will survive this. You can see how good the plane comes back, and that is really one important thing because it's so sick. I will close one side. If you if you have a brand new plane, and right after on the unboxing, you discover all kind of cracks in the plane, bended wings, and oh, I don't know what. There was one company in the past that every time that we unboxed a plane, hey, everything was banded inside, ruined, the paint job fell off and I don't know what. So that is really depressing if you get something like that for your hard-earned money. So this is it. Hey. Yes. Let's see which side is which. 
I can see here, or maybe I'll be starting this side, huh? I think that maybe it should be opened like this because I can see some holes here. We will see. And let's see for the first time how this baby will look, okay? And I tell the truth, I, I can't wait to test this. Can you imagine the twin motors, say? Hey? Look at this, say. Hey. I ready to see for the first time. Wow. <laughs> hey. Now look at this sexiness, day. Hey. Now what's this, say? Hey? This is something that I see for the first time. Look at this, say. Hey. Do you see this, say? Hey? Yeah, what is ah, it? Ah, this is, it must be for the ESCs. Because I can see here the three pins. Now that means that this must be to connect the ESCs somehow inside the wing because you have two motors. Now where should we start? Of course, look at this, I will start here. First thing that you have here, you have here the spinners. Look at this, you come here. Oh, they're even the different colors. Do you see this? Say, you have one red and you have one green. Oh. Now one thing that I think that it is on this plane and it should be are the counter rotating props. If you have double motor uh, plane and you have the counter rotating props, they will, you will almost have no tendency to go that the plane will go left when you will push the throttle because planes like this, but this one not so much, the Warbirds especially. If you put the single motor uh, Warbirds, when you push the throttle and if you push it too hard, they will always go to the left. You must always put some rudder to the right. And even because of that, all the motors on the planes, they are not leveled and straight on the motor mount. They are always a little to the right and down. 3% to the right and little down. That counter affects that torque of the propeller. This is it. Beautiful and sexy spinners. Of course, read the instruction manual and you will see on which side, on, on which side will go which propeller. This is okay. it. First, we will have here the, the propellers. Let's see what's what inside else? here next. Ah, I can see here. And that is all. Look at this. This is all that you will have to do on these planes. And oh, I just love it. Eh? This is just enough amount of work to do that you get really in love in your plane but you still don't have much work to do if you're a busy man like me i don't have time days and days and months and i don't know what to assemble the plane oh, i love to go on the runway quick <laughs> in and out no so remorse this is it? no regrets eh? even if you crash it eh? that doesn't mean that you can't fly the next day thanks god for the tic tac glue or what it's called eh? <laughs> So this is it. Eh? I can see here, this is for the wings. The, the, it's the same as here. You see this? Eh? It's the same as here. This goes here. You have two nylon bolts. And of course, I think that this is something to mold, uh, to, to, oh, I don't know, I will see for what these bolts are. Something I think for the, for the undercarriage. Eh? For the wheels. So this is because like. I hope that this, and I know that this will have the same wheels as that brother there. Now I can see here that I will have to take out also this part. It does secure something or, or something. Oh, ooh, hey. I mean, look at this, eh? Even this is worth something. Oh, I would buy this for a dollar. I mean, look at this, eh? How it holds the plane in, in place. I mean, look at this, eh? Oh. Don't throw the box away, really. I'm telling you, don't throw the box away. And you can use this. I go and check the windows many times because later I forget where the hell goes such uh, uh, every part because sometimes you have difficult boxes to assemble them later back. Oh. But you can watch the videos. This is it. This is it, Alina. Yes. Okay. It's yes. okay if you're standing here so close. Eh? I can feel you breathing behind my neck. Eh? <laughs> so what do we have here? A beautiful and sexy carbon bar. Oh. oh. You even have something inside. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we all know that this is the carbon bar that will hold your main wing. And of course, this one is that will hold your back wing or the elevator or I don't know how to call it. It's okay. The horizontal stabilizer. And now it's time. Uh -huh, I can also take this out because this is, my friends, 
the Bible of every single plane. You can be there. You can just zoom. Do you know that? Yeah, I know, but I, I'm scared. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Don't go around too much, because if you do all the time this, the, uh, the viewers will get the, the sea sickness. They will I'm think sorry. that you're filming on the boat. Hey, it's okay, okay. Stand still. This is the Bible of every single plane. Even more, if you will be flying and buying yourself this E-Flight Horizon Hobby bind and, flight, uh, bind and Fly planes, follow the instruction manual because they will tell you every single crucial information that you need, you will get inside here. And if you will follow the manual, you will have all the advantage of this beautiful, sexy ESC, ESCs with the Avian Smart Technology. Follow this and you will be one happy pilot, always. But the most important stuff on every single plane is never forget what, Alina? What is the most important stuff on the wings, on the planes? What is the most important stuff? If you want the plane to fly, what do you need? The perfect, what? I can't hear. Uh, C, G. I, uh, <laughs> The perfect CG, of course. Okay. I will teach Alina, we have decided that I will teach Alina from now on stuff about the planes. Yes. I will give her the simulator, she will train to fly the planes because maybe soon she will fly something on the camera and I think that it will be time soon that she will join me and my brother Captain Blush in this amazing hobby and on this channel because can you imagine how much more interesting it will be if we will have here my amazing daughter Alina on their Thank channel you. to present to you some place, even if she was just in box something. So this is it, eh? Yes. Uh, instruction manual, bolts, spinners. Okay, and now let's go to the wings. Even here, look. I can see here, look. Even this, look the protection here. Even this is beautifully protected. I mean, look at this, eh? And I think right now that I know why there are two, two sides of the boxes, because I can see here, one wing and the fuselage and I know that on the other side is the second wing. Now oh, I just love the fact, look at this, uh-huh, remember this, how it was packed, do you see this? Uh -huh. And we will see quickly what, how the connectors are made. If you will assemble this plane every time that you will go on the runway, you will have to connect it with these connectors and we will see soon how they look like. Hey, hey look at this sexy mistake. But hey, do you see something? I mean, do you see something, hey? What? Do you see a difference between this wing and that one, hey? I mean, oh, I'm so glad, because if we show you just this box, unboxing, without the plane, that one in the back, you wouldn't see the difference and realize how much, what? They're like the same. How much bigger and oh. wider this Wing is, do you see the difference? I mean, yeah. look at this, eh? Look at the size of this wing. Eh? Oh, it's really big. Hey, oh, I will still for this E flat right now, eh? Because I think, my friends, do you know what? That I have now again found and discovered even better every day playing that this one. But still, still, we will see after that we will test it on the runway. But do you know, if I see the wing like this, now that means the bigger the surface, the more beautiful the plane will fly. Now, of course, why is this? Well, you can imagine that we have here now two motors that will suck even more. We will see, of course, on what kind of battery this plane will run. Now, I wonder, huh, maybe I will read it on the box. I don't think that it will fly on the same battery as that one, 2204 cell. I mean, this one should be, I think that it will be maybe at least two times bigger because you have here two motors sucking amps and that is why the the wing is so much bigger eh? i mean look at this of course the beautiful uh, stickers paint job here you can see the motor let's check underneath beautiful and sexy flaps and look at the hinges say eh? not just some phony baloney foam hinges but really a hinges like they should be i mean oh i love it eh? and you have here connector like i have said this will be for the motor and this will be for the lights and everything that you need here. Do you see here? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Uh, this is so amazing. Okay. And I also like on this one, on the previous one, you can see the lights here and you can see here the plastic, the protection here on this. So you won't ruin your wings even if you will 
sometimes it will fall like this, you won't ruin it. And of course, I can also see here, do you see? It's interesting, we will see if maybe it is inside. You have here the possibility for the slats. Oh, those which, wire. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah, the, even here I don't have the slats. You can put them on, now that means that if you will put the slats on, you will be really able to fly the plane slow. And that's the point of that. You can make, you can fly slowly on approaches like this. It is meant to really, really slow down the plane or that you really don't need so much speed. Uh -huh, 10 minutes. You don't need so much speed to take off because the air is going differently through the wind. So this is it, of course, let's check here quick. I can see here, huh, where is my knife? Knife, the knife, quick, quick. There. Aha, uh -huh, the knife. I can see here the, the, uh -huh. I will take it out like this. I can see here the, the elevator, but everything is so beautifully packed that I just love this. I mean, really protected. Look, not, not just two wings put it together, but look at this, if I open, do you see? There is also inside here, so you really get the plane as it should be, as it should leave the, the factory. It should leave the factory in perfect mint condition and it is like this. Now I will show you this. The back wing and also here do you see a beautiful and sexy hinges oh. inside. Look, really good glued in and I can see here that this will be the bolt construction. Inside here it will go the carbon bar and this again just goes together like this and that's it. Eh? Look at this. Oh, so that's huh? it? Yeah, that's it. Eh? You have one control horn here and good enough. Eh? I will put it here. I oh, just love this. Eh? With everything that you take out, eh, we are more and more in love. Of course, usually I save the fuselage for the, for the end of the video, but this time we have it on this side and I will take it out with the biggest pleasure ever. Now, of course, on this plane, <laughs> The most sexy thing is on the wings because we have two motors, but still, even here we will see now the difference because we don't have the motor anymore on the nose of the plane because all the rest of the timbers are made so they have one motor in the nose, but this one in fact has the nose without the motor and this will be interesting to see what kind of nose they have, they have done and I just wonder if they have put the plastic on the nose because I was just wondering if it will have, so you can put it like this in the storage and you won't ruin the nose. Are you ready? Yes. To see it for the first time? Look at the essay. Wait. Right. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, do you see this say? How it is done? Yeah. So the, the foil doesn't go off. I mean, check this out. Eh? So the foil doesn't go off. Look. Oh. And now. You can take it on. I mean, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I will put it here. Now let's check. Of course, I will come here. Alina, you can show the back. The steering, the back wheel, already you have the rudder connected. Do you see? Here it will go the horizontal stabilizer. Beautiful and sexy, already done, prepared all the plastic, eh, which will really be sturdy. You have the light here, of course, the light up here. This will go the undercarriage, the, the wheels. I just love the fact that it has the fixed landing gear because that for me is the best thing. I mean, the retractable landing gears are so sexy, but yeah, if you don't have the good runway, you ruin them so many times. And one salute, the E-flight, you know, for <laughs> what? For the nose. I was just wondering if they will put the nose the plastic nose so it protects the comb of the plane and it is like it should be. And I can even see here, even though you have here the motors, which of course you can see here, let me show the motor, do you see? Wait. You also have big openings that will really cool down the motor and also the ESC, because I can see the ESC here. Uh, uh, you also have here the opening so it will cool down the battery. Now this is such a beautiful stuff. And now I can turn it to you. And of course you can go here. I will put it here so you can see inside. Show the viewers. You can see here the beautiful and sexy receiver. This time, look, with the antennas. 
Do you see this? Mm -hmm. For really good signal. And not just that, I can see here the front, I mean, look at this. Eh? Now you can see why you have here, do you see these connectors? Connectors for the wings and connectors for the motors. Oh. And this is unbelievable. And that is why I will show you why you have this. Red and green. You will have to put the right color on the wing and then this right color wing you will put this connector to the right color here and then you will have something because I can imagine that with this smart with this smart uh, ESC the Avian I think that you also have the options for the differential thrust on this plane because if you will have some floats because I can see here also, I think that also there is possibility for the floats. It's so good if you have the reverse thrust on the plane and also the, the reverse, uh, the differential thrust on the motors. So you can really turn quickly in some bushes or something along the river. So this is it. Eh? And of course, one thing that we must check is uh, the compartment for the battery and that is here in the front. And oh, I just love it. Eh? Do you see this? I mean, look at the beautiful and sexy reinforcement all the way here. And not just a carbon bar stuck inside like some companies do. But reinforced even here, the carbon bar is in these plastics that really grab the front of the plane so much. And then now it is sturdy. And oh, I just love this place for the battery because it's really easy to get inside here. Eh? Hey, oh, I just love it. Huh? Hey, oh, I just love it. I just wonder what's this. Huh. What? what is this? Do you see this? Eh? For what this is? Eh? Oh, I will see this later. Maybe it holds some cables or something. Oh, I don't know. Eh? We will see. Program M32. Of course, you can also see here you have the, the access for the, the back servos. If you will need to set something, but I wonder if you will need to set something manually, but you don't have to, you can set it. No, you can't set it here. You will have to set it inside here and it is really accessible. Eh? Oh, I just love it. And underneath, do you see? Oh, oh, it's interesting. Eh? Huh. Do you see this? Eh? No, show me. Yeah, show me. I'm, uh, I can see that you have the ESC inside here. Ha! Huh. I thought that I saw the ESC inside here, but in fact it's not. You just have the cables out and then you have the ESC inside the plane. Now this is interesting, eh? This is something that I see for the first time. Because usually for each motor you have the own, the separate ESC. But this time you have one ESC for two motors. I mean, this is something new for me. Okay, eh? Oh, I love it, eh? And of course, you have here the IC free connector, eh? That will hold some four channel battery, four cell battery. And I do believe really that this will be a bigger battery than just a 2204 cell. Now I will close this and let's check quickly. Underneath, like I have said, we have now the second compartment where I can put it on my knife. I will open this one also, but I know already that here you can see the whole plane is there. Here I can only expect to see the second wing and this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not just the second wing. Where are the props, eh, Alina? You didn't tell me. Yes. And the landing gear, say. Eh? Oh, and even this. Look, look how they come protected, eh? So they they don't move. I mean, look at this, eh? And I can see right now. Do you see? That we have the counter rotating props, do you see? Oh. And this is something. Oh, I just love it, eh? Oh, I just love it, eh? Counter rotating. It does say here CCV, and here it says CV. CV and CCV. Of course, here are the props. And we have forgotten here yeah, that we must have the wheels somewhere. And again, beautiful and sexy big Tundra wheels. And of course, I mean, look at this. No more excuses anymore. This is steel, do you see? Really beautiful, sexy, sturdy steel landing gear. Oh, I just love it.
Ah, look, the second one and that's it. And I think, oh, I don't know, I really think that this will be, ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. And now this is, I really wonder, maybe on this one, oh, I will put this, do you know what this is? No. These are the slats that will go on the wings. Like I have told you, if you will put this on, you won't have, you won't be able to do so much stunts anymore with the plane, but it should really, it should really slow down your plane, because maybe I will put them on this one, because I really love to fly my planes low, slow and sexy. Now, do you see this? These are the slats. Do you see? Oh. A beautiful, sexy paint job. And this will go, I will show you, like this here. Do you see? You just glue them in, uh -huh. like this, and now the air will go through this. And again, it will go faster and it will, it will go around here and create even more lift to the plane. Because the, the air will go even faster, which means that it will make more lift, so you will be able to fly even slower, but still have the same, the same flying characteristics. Oh, oh, do you see this, eh? Yeah, uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. Do you see what I see? Do you know what I, why I'm so surprised? Of course, the second wing, the same as the first one, really beautiful, with really beautiful hinges. Look at this. Look, they even have the bolts inside, do you see? Mm -hmm. The hinges with the bolts, I mean, oh, I just love them. The lights, of course, the underneath is the same, and these black stripes, you will really be able to see the plane good, and of course, you can see inside here that you have the Metal Gear servo so This is a, such a quality. Oh, I just love the E-Flight planes because they put on the market every single plane they release. I mean, I want to tell you the truth, my friends. If you are the foam lover, my friends, if you are the foam lover, now this is the paradise on Earth, eh? Foam and electro lovers, the planes from the e flight are the dreams came true. Of course, they come with the price, but you get the quality. We have bought many times the planes for the same kind of money, but got them ruined and, and they weren't flying good and I don't know what. But here, there are no excuses. Every single plane then flies good. And why I was so impressed when I saw this, do you know why? No. Do you see? The Different difference? colors. Yeah, look. Green color, red color, green color, red color. Oh. No, I don't think that you will put on this motor the red shaft. No. But that's it, eh? They have thought, can you imagine? They could easily do this in the same color and say, tell you in the manual, don't get them wrong, you will ruin your plane, and I don't know what. They were really thinking on us, so we will have the easiest job possible to have the, the ultimate fun. I mean, this is unbelievable. So this is it, eh? Like this. Oh. What to tell at the end, my friends, eh? eh. Oh, I'm impressed, really. I'm really impressed with this plane by now. Because if you don't have a timber by now, you should have at least one. It doesn't matter what kind of planes you're flying. If you just want to have fun on all kind of terrain, well, I can really recommend this plane. Really, I can recommend it. It's beautiful. It has it all with the lights and everything. And this technology is smart. It is amazing. And this one right now shows me, and I believe that it will give us so much fun. Because, like I have said, the double motor sounds a so much better than the one motor plane. And I can't wait to test it. So this is it, Alina. Yeah. Enough for today. 20 minutes even more. Hey, oh, I was again. You didn't check the clock, hey. Oh. You didn't tell me what you were saying, hey. You will be too long again on the camera, but still, hey. Alina, thank you for this filming. Yes. I love you, hey. And of course, what to tell at the end? Nothing. I have said it all. I can't wait to assemble this plane, I will prepare it as soon as possible. We will test it on the runway, then I will give you the assessment. But right now I'm so anxious to go flying this double motor piece. So this is it. 
Pilot Robert and Captain Alina signing off from Slovenia with brand new release. I mean, it's not exactly brand new, but it is brand new for me because here in Europe, ah, we get the stuff a little later than our friends in the USA, but still, who cares, say, as long as we can have fun. Eh? Don't waste your time, click on something quick and see you pretty soon. We love you all. Thanks for your support, for visiting our channel, for all your comments, all your thumbs up, for donations, buying our t-shirts, say, eh? Don't forget to visit our store because you have a, lo a, a lot of t-shirts there and of course if you buy the stuff like this through our links in description with that you also help and support this channel so we will film as long as possible. We must film as long as possible because we need Alina on the camera in the future. Eh? Alina. <laughs> yes, I agree. It. That's it. Okay? Okay. Now Alina cut quick! Because what? Nothing, this is it for today. Yeah, this ah, is it. Thanks again and as long as I will see the light okay. on the camera, I will yes. speak on this channel because I just can't stop to babble once I start. It's interesting, my friends say, because in the real life I'm not like that. I don't babble all the time in the real life. In the real life, in fact, I don't like to talk much. That is maybe why once I'm on the camera, hey, I'm like a spring, the fountain of <laughs> thoughts and I don't know what. Hey. Oh, I can talk 24-7. I mean, it's really interesting. Eh? It's really interesting. But, so, yeah. But that's it. Eh? Okay, okay, that's it. You cut what's the audio. Okay, yes.